For our next problem, we'll solve a rational equation. Notice in this equation, on the right-hand side, in the denominator, we have x squared minus 9, which is the difference of two perfect squares. So we're going to factor that when we start. So on the left-hand side, we'll leave this alone. 2 over x minus 3 minus 4 over x plus 3 is equal to 8 over the quantity x plus 3 times x minus 3. Now, we want to clear these fractions. So in order to do that, we can multiply both sides of this equation through by what the least common multiple of the denominators would be. And in this case, it would be x plus 3 times x minus 3. But before we do that, since this is a rational equation, we want to make sure we take a look at the restricted values and determine any values that we cannot let x equal. In this case, we cannot let x equal positive 3 or negative 3, because if we let x equal positive 3, in our first fraction, 3 minus 3 would give us 0 in the denominator, and we cannot divide by 0. And here in the second fraction, if we substitute negative 3 for x, that would again give us 0 in the denominator. So it's a good idea just to keep in mind when you have a rational equation, keep in mind what your restricted values are, remembering that 3 or negative 3 in this case cannot be part of the solution set. Now let's get on to solving the equation. So we're going to multiply both sides of this equation through by what we just talked about, the quantity x minus 3 times x plus 3 on both sides. And when we do that, we're going to have x minus 3 times x plus 3 times 2 over x minus 3. When we distribute that through, we have minus x plus 3 times x minus 3. I actually reversed the order right here, but it makes no difference. Times 4 over x plus 3 equals, on the right-hand side, 8 times the quantity x minus 3, x plus 3 over x plus 3 times x minus 3. Now we're going to see some factors divide out. x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 divides out. And we have x plus 3 times 2. I'm going to write the 2 in front of the x plus 3. Since multiplication is commutative, the order does not matter. So we have 2 times the quantity x plus 3 minus, in our second term, the x plus 3 over x plus 3 will divide out. And we have minus 4 times the quantity x minus 3 equals, on the right-hand side, notice the x minus 3 divides out, and so does the x plus 3. And we're left with just 8. Now we have a linear equation that we can solve. So next we'll distribute. We have 2x plus 6 minus 4x, and then negative 4 times negative 3 is plus 12 equals 8. Let's combine like terms on the left-hand side. 2x minus 4x gives us negative 2x, and 6 plus 12 gives us plus 18. That's equal to 8 on the right-hand side. Next, we'll subtract 18 from both sides of this equation. Negative 2x plus 18 minus 18 is equal to 8 minus 18. When we simplify this, now we have simply negative 2x on the left-hand side is equal to 8 minus 18 gives us negative 10. Our last step is to divide both sides by negative 2, and we're left with our solution. x is equal to positive 5. Now notice that this solution x equals 5 is not part of our restricted values that we talked about in the beginning. So our solution set is x is equal to 5.